Hello and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to address how to install the latest version of OpenFone ESI, the 2406 for the time of this recording. So first thing, remember there are two versions of OpenFone. You have the Foundation OpenFone 12, which is the latest release. We'll already address that in another video. You have the link also in the description. And now we're going to address how to install a version uh, 20, uh, uh, 2406. So this is a series of incremental videos. We have done several versions using OpenSUSE 15.5. This is very important. So here, let me tell you, if you're using OpenSUSE 15.5 and you follow a previous video, the previous video where we showed the installation of the previous uh, version, you can skip the whole video, go ahead and install. The installation is crystal clear, okay? But if you want to follow and, or if you haven't installed uh, this version or you haven't seen a previous video where we show the installation, just uh, stay tuned. So here you have the release notes. I'm not going into details. You want to know what is happening. So if you're using an old version, like probably uh, version prior to 2021, I would say, uh, I would say that I, I recommend you to, 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 to day. Okay. There are many changes. So here also you have a link now to download the source code. Also, you can download pre-compiled binaries. You have it here for open source and so on. Honestly, I don't like to, to install the pre-compiled binaries. It's my choice. It's up to you, but it works the same. So you save all the pain of the compilation. So let's go to the installation here. Already download everything. I have the tar files, you extract those files, and then I have the folders there. Very important also that you have your bash RC, you need to date it. So just to repeat here that you need to give the correct path where you have open MPI. So in OpenSUSE 15.5, it's located here. Then I created my alias here to source everything. So see that I also have OpenFone 12. And I like to have OpenSone 10 because it's the pre OpenFone 11 where there were some big changes, but that is only for the foundation. The ESA remains pretty much the same and some other stuff. So you have it there. Okay, update your bash RC. Also, we have the installation instructions. So in the video description, you have the, the link to download. This is these are our instructions. So open from 2406. So you need to install all these dependencies. So as you already did it, okay, no need. But you can test this dependence is also for Paraview. Very important. You need to compile Paraview. You can use your pre-compiled binary, the 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 binary distributed with your system. In any case, I like to compile it. So here you have everything that you need. So no other extra libraries. And here we go to the to this instruction. So for open phone. So you download and then remember to always this open open MPI. And very important that ESA version have these extra requirements, these extra dependencies that you don't have with foundation version. And then we go with this step for the installation. So let's go, let's proceed. So first let's source everything. So it will give you this warning, meaning that I haven't compiled anything. Okay. So now we go there, we check all this dependency here and so on. So the first thing is that you have the system check. So for system, you don't have it anymore in the foundation. You have still have it here, but it's a good idea to do this sanity check. Everything is okay. And now you go and you can do the compilation. So here you have the steps. Let me copy and paste. So this means it will save a log file. It will do in parallel and so on. And off you go. So here also will put my task manager. So just to mention that I'm, I'm using Windows subsistence Linux. Okay. Uh, here and using OpenSUSE, which is like using a Linux version, like using Docker. Honestly, I'm not going back to dual booting. It's exactly the same, but the instructions works exactly the same as you have a native uh, Linux OpenSUSE installation. Okay. So in any case, at this point, let's wait for the compilation. So see you, see you in a while.
Okay, so we're back, and oh boy, that compilation is time consuming. Now, compared with the foundation, it's very time consuming, probably twice. But well, there is a lot of stuff, a lot of bad medicine inside. But in any case, here we are. Let me minimize that, and yeah, there we go. We have a clean uh, installation. Everything went smooth. As I say, is you already follow previous instructions. Basically, just go ahead and compile nothing should happen nothing bad so let's end here let me create this the user director i always this is not compulsory but i always like to put it there you know when you compile and some stuff you need to have that directory and this is the final test here nothing bad and there you go you have your installation as usual like and run a case to be a hundred percent sure that everything is running which and running i'm not in part of that runs but it runs so but if you are not sure in your side run a case in parallel no to be sure and there you go so now the critical stuff is that we don't have part of you so like from for a foundation we just to show you so contrary to foundation that you have the open fund 12 that you have that strange step down now you can use the system installation so here you don't have you need to do that modification again here the developers they recommend you to use the system the system installation so honestly you save the time but let me show you here also how to do the compilation of PowerView which, as you might recall, can be also time consuming. So let's go and launch that, and then we can drop out the video. So party. Okay, so there is a lot of stuff. So I will prepare another video for uh, Petsy, okay, which is very interesting. Uh, so, but again, like I say, nothing changed. So if you already did, it should be the same. You just need to update your Petsy uh, version. So pretty much at this point, we need to just make power view. Here we don't need to do login like the foundation that you need to add that extra key, you know, keyword which for to find Qt here will work. It's no problem. And there you go. So now it will start to set up the script for power view and everything should go smoothly no problem again you are running company in parallel sometimes might crash okay but let's see what happens okay so at this point let's wait a little bit so we'll be shorter than the open phone compilation but let's wait Okay, so we're back. So we have complete compilation. As you saw, go here, double unit refresh. There you go. And you need to go back here, file the plugin. And that's it. So, contrary, if I will recall last, the other version of Paraview 511 now is compiling 512. In 511, you needed to change something in the source code in the compilation. Uh, this new installation, you don't need to do anything. As you saw, it's just crystal clear, no extra step. You follow previous step, previous installation, everything should go smoothly. So now we went back to the source to open from where you have all the source code. We launch again the, the script, but it's to compile that plugin. I recall that you have it here now this BTK or phone mesh. And you don't need to do this. You can use the uh, remember you, you you can use the your system installation, the binary from PowerView. There is no problem. But I like to compile this one because it has this plugin you now as you mentioned, or probably also as you know that it will let you, for instance, visualize cell set sums or probably with part of you some very specific operations to 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 open phone. It will give you access. Negative note is that it tends to be slower than PowerPoint. So I just use this this plugin, this installation only to to get access to those specific no 
uh, uh, those, those specific functions. Otherwise, I use the standard part of view that is much faster. So at this point, it's done. Okay, so no problem, nothing. And let's run again. So we go here, see the incompressible, the classic kernel driven cavity that we already. So let's go clean out and just to show you mesh icon paraffin and there you go launch and voila so at this point we have a fully working installation of the esi version of open phone and remember that here you have these modules that there is a lot of stuff the stern excel solvers and some other options so in another video i will show you how to compile petsy to enable this external solver now it's very interesting now to to do that again if you follow last year instructions it should work out of the box but we only need to uh, update the, the petsy installation so that's all thank you very much and see you next video Bye.